everybody. So the tutorial you're about to see is one that wasn't really planned. That's why I didn't really talk during it and I'm doing the over voice type thing because I didn't plan it. But I'm pleased with the end result and I hope you like it too. So let's get right in to the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I'm taking is Max Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm taking the brush that came with my Naked One palette. So it's just, a, you know, a flat arm decay synthetic brush. And I'm just really packing this on all over the lid, all the way up to the brow. I used to think that this worked best working in thinner layers. I've found that it works best if you really, really apply a thick amount, especially if you're going to be working with something that is a little more crease prone and a little more creamy, such as the Makeup Geek foil shadows. Next, I'm taking Makeup Geek's Bitten and a MAC 217 brush, and I'm just working and getting some color on that. And then I'm going to start putting that in the crease, starting in the outer and just moving it inward. I'm not really too worried about being precise with this, just really getting it on there and getting that color. Because we're going to go in and blend out with another shade. But I am blending out as I go. But like I said, not caring too much about the exact placement. This color is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, deep burgundy. I mean, seriously. It's really, really beautiful. And very, very unique. I have yet to come across something this red burgundy that's matte like this. This is definitely a shade to check out from Makeup Geek. Doing the same thing on the other eye, just, you know, really packing on, going back in, working it out a little bit, adding a little color, making sure it's all even. Now I'm taking the same brush and a Makeup Geek shadow in Wisteria. And I'm just going to put that right on the outer edge and blend slightly over bit and a little bit with it. It's just, you know, it's a great purple color. It adds just a little bit of something something to it. It, you know, sort of creates a line of, you know, pink, red, and, you know, lavender. So, want a little more of the red, so I'm going back in with Bitten and just going back over to really intensify. And I'm also carrying it down a little bit onto the lid, really onto just that outer, outer little spot in the lid. Same thing with the other eye, going back in with Bitten, because I do want that red, but I do want uh, that pink color that the two created, and a little bit of the lavender all on its own. Now I'm going into a Mega Geek foil shadow with a flat brush. This is the shade Jester, and I'm just really working and packing a lot of color to really pack that on. And like I said, I went with the very thick matte base. To really help extend the wear of these because these do tend to crease and fade, especially on my very, very, very oily eyelids. If you have dry eyelids, then you may not have to worry about it, but if you have oil, then you're definitely going to want to really prep and prime to really ensure that these shadows really last. It's just, it's a gorgeous green, olivey color. It reminds me of like mildew or, or swimming from MAC. Now I'm going into Houdini, which is this very deep, deep teal, using the same brush that I went in with Jester. And I'm just making sure I got a lot of color to really do. And then I'm just focusing that on the outer half of the lid, really. Mainly the outer, but a little bit on the half. And now I'm just going back in and blending back over that with Bitten, really adding that seamless blend and really making sure that it stands out a little bit more with that little extra pop of bitten on the lid. Checking, making sure it's completely even. Now I'm going in to Max Yogurt, and I'm just sweeping that all across the brow as my brow bone highlight. This is just, you know, a flesh tone matte color. Now I'm taking a fluffy crease brush, just a generic drugstore and Makeup Geek Rockstar eyeshadow. Which is just this very gorgeous light duochrome shadow that it's very unique. It goes sort of purple and then sort of blue. It really, it's really reflective and really beautiful. And I'm adding it for that bright little pop. Now I'm going in with my my Milani eyeliner, and I'm just focusing on doing a small wing, working on the outer part. Then I'm going to start on the inner, just you know, doing whatever is necessary to get the shape I want and a very thin line because I don't want anything drastic. I just want a very thin, slightly winged out look. Now, with liner, I find it's best to just play around and figure out what works for you. 
this is, you know, what works for me is, you know, going in on the outer part and then going back in from the inner and just really connecting and attaching the line till I have exactly the shape and dimension and, you know, everything that I want with the wing. You know, you can go back in and, and build it back up if you want to. It's really, it's up to you. But I suggest just playing around to figure out what works for you. This liner in particular is really great because it really does lock down and stay in place. And it's got a very fine point so you can be very precise. Now I am going in to my waterline with a black pencil liner from Mali. And this is just really long wearing and really great, so I figure I'll just pop that on my inner water line. Going back over it till I have it the level that I want. Building it up and such and carrying it just a little bit down. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the shade Light. And then I'm just, you know, getting that on. I'm going to take a brush. I'm taking a Sephora brush in the number 57 and I'm just buffing and blending that out. You could use the applicator that it's on the concealer. I just like using the brush better. Real Technique setting brush and I'm just setting that with a little bit of setting powder. Nothing too drastic. Just, you know, really lock it in place and keep it from creasing and fading. Now I'm taking a Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade Loaded. This is just a Deep dark green, sort of emeraldish, but really deep and nice. It's actually a shadow that's in the smoked palette, just in liner form here, obviously. Putting that on my lower lash line. Now I'm going in with Kush from Urban Decay, as you can see, in a small shader brush. And I'm just going to start really on the inner part and just pat it, leaving that outer part completely intact, but patting it on the inner and carrying it out a little bit to just soften it and give a little more dimension so it's not one solid flat color. It'll just make it blend out a little bit. Dancing a little bit to the music I'm playing. Now I'm taking mascara and I'm taking Mali Volumizing Mascara. I'm just putting that on. This is an okay mascara. Uh, I liked it better at first. It seems like it's thinned out in consistency a little bit and I'm not really liking it being so thin. But it's decent. Now I'm taking a little lunt of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and just putting a little something on my bottom lashes. Uh, I, act, I also added El Dorado liner on the inner inner part of my eye, but I didn't film that part, so there you go, that's the gold there. Now I'm doing my face, I'm taking my Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer, taking a little bit, not too much, and just working that all over my skin. This is really going to give a perfect pore perfecting thing face, as it says. Uh, sped it all up because, you know, it's nothing really flashy or anything. You can see it in any other video and stuff. Uh, this is my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer, or Radiant Cream Foundation. And it's just, it's very light coverage. It's very natural looking. So I'm just, you know, taking that and putting that on with an Urban Decay Optical Brush. Carrying it down a little bit just so that it's all even because it is a hair lighter than my skin. NYC Sunny, uh, brush that I'm not sure actually on the number. Thought it should be in the comments, or in the info box, sorry. Tongue twisted there. But I'm just doing a very soft, light contour. Checking to make sure it's even. Now I'm going in with Bittersweet Urban Decay Blush with a Real Technique Blush Brush. And oh my god, let's talk about this. This we slowed down because this, look at this color. This is just gorgeous, gorgeous purple. I mean, this is just incredible. It is so beautiful and so delicate, and you you know, you see, there it is lightly, you know, but, you know, it's wearable. But I'm going to take it up a notch and add a little bit more, because I want a little something extra. But it's, just, it's so beautiful, I mean, look at that. You know, it's, it's very unique, it's very purple, it's not very pink. It has that slight pink that makes it wearable, but it stays that purple, which is nice. Now we're going to start speeding back up, just because it's nothing really spectacular. Just taking a Real Technique setting brush and the Bomb Mary Luminizer highlighter. I'm just patting a little into it and just putting a little bit on, nothing too drastic. Just want a little bit of extra oomph and glow. Now we're doing the lips. This is the Bite Beauty Lipstick in Fig. Just very classic soft pink. Just putting a little bit of that on, because I want something more natural with the nice bold colorful eyes that we're wearing. 
And so, you know, it's perfect to balance out this look. Just going to spritz a little bit with diesel exciting spray to set it all. Make sure that it really locks in. And there you have pretty much the finished look. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I kind of really like that look, so I'm, you know, I'm pleased with the way it came out. I hope you are too. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.